hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k minus square root of 9 is equals to k and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. Also the reason of solving this problem for first method is that if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you need to find the value of k or you need to uh, just uh, find the root of this equation then you just do uh, uh, the solution of this problem by first method and if in your exam the question statement is that you just determine the solution of this problem then you can uh, directly move uh, towards the second method but both of these two methods are valid to solve uh, these type of questions and further here uh, we move towards the solution of this problem so here first you focus on this radical term and you see here this is square root of 9 and we know about that a square root of 9 is equals to 3 and this is equals to k and here further in the next step uh, we in order to find the values of k we need to take squaring on both of the sides so that when we apply squaring it will be written as in this form and now here we use the nice algebraic formula uh, but here first we move this uh, k square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as k minus 3 whole square this is positive term when we move it into the left hand side it will become negative and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we apply the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this uh, you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b uh, so after applying uh, the below formula we write our above equation as uh, so here we write it as this is k minus 3 minus b the value of b is k only into here we have a plus b the value of a is k minus 3 plus the value of b is k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step here you see that this is negative k and this is positive k are cancelled out by each other and here we get this is minus 3 into here we have this is k plus k becomes 2 times of k minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need uh, to divide both of the sides by minus 3 in order to remove this minus 3 from left hand side so here when we divide both of the sides by minus 3 it will be written as in this form so this minus 3 is cancelled out by this minus 3 and here we get this is 2k minus 3 is equals to this is 0 divided by minus 3 and we know that when we divide 0 with any other number it will become 0 and now here in the next step we need to move this minus 3 to the right hand side and it will become 2k is equals to 3 and for the values of k we need to remove this 2 from left hand side and for this we divide both of the sides by 2 and when we divide by 2 it will be written as in this form and now you see here this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here our k is equals to 3 divided by 2 so this is the final answer or final value of k which we get here from this method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of k is satisfied of our given question statement or not or in other words is this value of k be the solution or extraneous root so for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is k minus k root of 9 is equals to k so here we substitute the above value of k on both of the sides and we check its behavior is this value is satisfied or not so when you put it here it will become 3 divided by 2 minus here we know about that the square root of 9 becomes 3 equals to 
this is k the value of k is 3 divided by 2 and now here we need to take the lcm of this term and its lcm becomes 2 and it will become this is 3 minus 2 times 3 becomes 6 is equals to 3 over 2 and here you see that 3 minus 6 becomes minus 3 divided by 2 equals to 3 divided by 2 and here you clearly see that this is the negative term and this is the positive term and both of these two values are not equal in general or in other words we just say that it is not possible case it is not possible that minus 3 over 2 is equals to plus 3 over 2 so it means that the value of k is not satisfied over given question statement so it means that uh, this question has no solution or uh, the value of k equals to 3 over 2 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the extraneous root uh, and we cannot get any other value of k which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has no solution so this is the, our first method and uh, now here we uh, move towards our second method and in second method uh, we first need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is k minus square root of 9 is equals to k so here our second method be the very uh, quick method and here we just quickly determine uh, is this equation has solution or not okay so here we move this minus square root of 9 to the right hand side and we move this k to the left hand side and it will become k minus k is equals to square root of 9 this minus k and positive k are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 0 is equals to square root of 9 and here you clearly see that these are not uh, equal or in other words we say that it is not possible that 0 is equals to square root of 9 so if this is not possible it means that we cannot get any value of k which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that this question has no solution so this is our final conclusion uh, about second method and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos